I got the message of my dreams. I got an invitation to come to this old store and pick this place, y'all. Y'all, we're gonna have a good time today. This place is totally packed with beautiful antiques. Okay, the first thing I'm showing y'all is not even for sale, but have y'all ever seen anything like this? It's a cheese slicer, and there's not only one of them, there's two of them. Look at all these blue dishes right here. I'm in love with this little teapot with a little wire handle. How cute is that? And then this piece, I think I'm going to have to get it. It says rare handmade wooden bread rolling plate vase. Look how beautiful this is. Look at the bottom. The bottom is just as gorgeous as the top. It's very heavy definitely a very unique one-of-a-kind piece look at all the old ice trays tons and tons of glassware lots of old lids look at this still has the beans in it old Folgers and Maxwell coffee cans lots of these little um what are these called snuffers I think I don't remember these are cute but there's a ton of these all this stuff I think I'm gonna get this look at all the rust on it enamel it has a red handle and I love the little glass on the lid I have some cool stuff over here look they still have all the old bags from this store look at this little rusty soap dish that's adorable I love this. Some measuring tape. That would just be so pretty. Styled on the shelf. Love that. Probably going to get that. And then look at this stack of crusty books right here. You know for sure that is coming home with us. Ooh, brushes, brushes, crusty brushes. Ooh, look at these. Oh, wow. That's so pretty. Love those. Here's two more right here. That one's missing some pieces, but honestly, I don't mind that. I think that just adds to the character. The older, the crustier, the better. Ooh, this one's heavy. Look at that beautiful dark wood on there. These metal tins. Are y'all into these? There's all these little small ones right here. Look at all this amber glass. Wow. Some ball jars so even though this place is packed it's still pretty organized in two collections let's check out this Santa Ooh, he's cool definitely vintage his hat is a little smashed in he's stapled to the back and the staples have rusted over but I think that kind of adds to the effect I really like him so I think I'm gonna add him to my pile. Here's some wooden cheese molds. How cool are these? See that one has a stamp. This one's broken. Let me pull it out. This one is just flat too so this is the only one with the design and how cute is this? I don't know what it is but it's wood and it has this little rusty metal piece so you know it's coming home with us. These little oval pictures aren't exactly my style, but I have a customer that would be so upset with me if I did not pick these up. Look, this is a velvet mat in the middle. This one's super heavy. You can tell this one is good quality. And it looks like the glass bubbles a little. Check out the cute, fancy hat display. And then I found this purse. I'm pretty sure it's handmade. I love this knitting right here and then the little wood handle I think the combination of this is adorable and I just found this piece walking through I love the shiny glass with the little cork on the top look they have all these boxes of laces all of these arms and then she told me that these shoes right here are original to the store here's a collection of old microscopes some more amber glass over here 
some more fancy hats. Literally, there's a collection of everything here. Here's some more shoes. They're still in the boxes. These are probably also original to the store. There's a little shoe display over here. Look at these. Also, I forgot to point out one of the most amazing things about this store. Look at the ceiling. This one's white and then that one's black over there. All 10. All right, I found the rusty section. Now just to find some rusty stuff that we like. They have a ton of these. I like the look of them. I'm trying to think what you could do with them. You could definitely hang them and maybe put little garland or something coming down of course they look great just on a stack of books it's kind of like you know those chains that are popular now to put on books kind of like that so old and rusty i think i'm gonna grab a few of them since i'm here i love the black with the rust combination um but if y'all have any ideas on what else to do with these how to style them style them y'all definitely leave me a comment below but I like the way they look, so I'm going to grab some of them. Of course, they have a ton of books here. This is Swiss Family Robinson. This is one of my all-time favorites. It is a little pricey, but I'm getting this for myself. Look at the beautiful pages in this book. I actually love this little piece. The mirror is all broken. It has a fabric frame. I just love the way this looks. You could just put it in a little vignette and I think it's adorable. All right, I love how tall this copper, I think it's called a scuttle bucket is. It has the beautiful blue and white, uh, I think this is porcelain handles. I think this is great because a lot of scuttle buckets I come across are big and since this one's tall and skinny, I think it'll be easier to find a place for it in your home. You put some beautiful tall florals coming out of it. I was admiring the scuttle bucket and I didn't even notice these brass candlesticks. Look how unique this shape is. I love it and there's not only one of them, there's a pair of them. I am normally not into insulators, but these are cool. Not this one. <laughs> that one's still attached. That's how it originally looked, but they are brown ceramic and beautiful this one actually has a candle in it so i think you could use them as a candle holder or you could put some greenery in there and these will be so beautiful not only for fall but year round i just found two tiny white ones oh i love these i'm getting this entire box i hope i find some more i'm pretty sure these are all liquor bottles look how unique and did I mention there's no air conditioner in here? So you see some of the candles have bent from the heat. This brass angel candle holder is gorgeous. She's also very heavy. I think that would look so beautiful for Christmas. Actually, I'm gonna take the candle too because look, it's already pre-burnt and drippy. I love the way that it looks. Here's one of the camera sections, and then look at this. Oh, look, all the old film tins. That's so cool. Kodak, they were 85 cents. I love these. Should I get them? They literally have everything here. Look at this old TV and even a hornet's nest. All right, guys, how exciting is this thrifting trip? I hope y'all have enjoyed it so far. This place is so big, I decided to break up this video into two different parts. So y'all make sure to tune in tomorrow because we are going to go exploring upstairs. Y'all leave a comment and let me know what is the best item that you have seen so far in this thrifting adventure.